isn't the government talking about how to retain skilled labour? Why isn't the infrastructure minister talking about how to implement infrastructure funds and get construction workers back to work in Alberta? Why does this government treat Alberta like a fart in the room that nobody wants to talk about or acknowledge? That is where my constituents have been at with this government for over a year. And you know what? We're tired of it. We watched what happened. I watched what happened in Brexit. Oh, and by the way, constituents, as I'm giving this speech, there's Liberal members across the aisle that are laughing at me. Yeah. And they're laughing at you. Yeah. I watched what happened in Brexit. And I Point of order, the honourable member for uh, Saanich uh, Gulf Islands. I interrupt my friend in her speech, but I heard her say a word that I know is distinctly unparliamentary. And I think she may want to withdraw it. The word was F A R T. The Honourable uh, men, uh, Member for Calgary Signal Hill. Are, we ser are you serious, Mr. Speaker? Like, is my colleague actually serious? I just gave an impassioned speech that's about supporting thing. Alberta jobs, and that's what the leader of a political party stands up and has to say. No, I don't withdraw it. Yeah. 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 The Honourable Member for Saanich Gulf Islands. I have a lot to say about the content of my friend's speech. I am deeply concerned, as are all people in this place, for Canadians who are hurting from economic downturn. I would like to speak to that, but the first important... I'm, excuse me. Did the honourable member for um, Calgary Signal Hill want to respond to that? It's Calgary Nose Hill, but close enough. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, uh, the leader of the Green Party has been probably one of the most vocal opponents of every part of the Alberta economy for the last 10 years, so I will take no lessons from her on this. Yeah. I believe we'll get, we're getting into a uh, debate, but I'll uh, go to the uh, Honourable Member for the Saanich uh, Gulf Islands. And I feel it's important to make something of the member's choice of words is that she then accused people opposite her for reacting. And in that context, decorum is important and respect is important to this place. I remind those who are now heckling me that you are breaking the rules of this place when you do so. I have never heckled in this place, not once. And I've never used language that was unparliamentary, not once. And I recognize my friend's passion, but I do not forgive, nor do I accept. We looked up uh, on page 619 of uh, the uh, O'Brien and Bosch. Uh, I, I shall read what's in here. In, de in dealing with unparliamentary language, the speaker takes into account the tone, manner, and intention of the member speaking the person who, whom the words at issue were directed, and it goes on. What I'm going to say is that sometimes in this chamber, passion takes over and it gets kind of heated, and sometimes we say things out of order or things that may not be parliamentary. The Honourable Member said a couple of things that were bordering, but it's up to her to decide whether they were unparliamentary. Someone took offence. I will take it under advisement bring it back to the table, and uh, we'll go from there.